Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, I'm sure you guys seen in the thumbnail what I'm hauling in. Um, but, if you didn't look too close at the thumbnail, don't worry about going back and look at it. Just worry about watching this video here, because it's going to be a good one. Um, so, yeah, it, I really couldn't sleep last night because I was so excited. Um, I was scrolling through Facebook yesterday evening, and a tractor popped up on there. And... Um, it's one I've had in the collection before, but I figured I'd just go ahead and get rid of it. Um, worry about spending money on stuff I'm going to make money on. But then, yesterday evening, I came across a pretty smoking deal um, on Facebook, and it was only like 50 minutes away from me. And I'm pretty sure I was the first person to text him. I got nervous there for a few hours because he didn't respond for six hours or so didn't respond until I was wanting to go to bed so um, yeah so I didn't sleep too good because I was so excited about um, getting another tractor for the collection so this tractor has the same problem mine had so as long as it ain't knocking it should be um, a pretty simple fix but if it's knocking already then it's gonna need a bottom end um, but for how nice it looks, I'm I'm ready to ready to have her running great. So um, yeah, and I had to wake up early early this morning because I was still loaded from another trip that I just went on that you guys will be seeing here soon. But I'm not sure how soon um, because I might be buying something huge. So I'm just gonna put it all in one not one video series but like all in the same week because um, it's something big and you guys are going to want to stay tuned for that as well so um yeah i had to unload trailer this morning but i didn't sleep at all last night maybe a couple hours of sleep but um yeah i got the trailer unloaded in the dark and headed over this way to be there at 8 a.m currently 7 20 right now so um, hopefully it's as nice as it looks in pictures and don't have a knock. I got the cash right over there, ready to go for the guy. Thankfully I had enough cash at the house. If not, would have had a ride check. But um, everyone loves cash. So, um, yeah, I guess I'm going to keep on hitting the road, make it to the guy's place. Probably won't film anything there just because I don't like filming in front of people and filming people's uh, properties. Um, so... I guess I will um, pick you guys up sometime throughout the day here, show you what I got and what I'm so excited about. Just guys seeing the drone footage, I might have made it home with another tractor for my collection. And as you guys seen, it's another Alice Chalmers 220. 
But before I tell you more about it, I need to read a Bible verse of you guys. And today it's going to be coming out of Job, chapter 1, verses 20 through 22. And it says, Then Job stood up, tore his robe, and shaved his head. He fell to the ground and worshipped, saying, Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked I will leave this life. The Lord gives, and the Lord takes away. Praise the name of the Lord. Throughout all of this, Job did not sin or blame God for anything. So there's today's Bible verses for you guys. And yeah, so you guys seen the drone footage? I bought another 220 Alice. And um, I'm going to go ahead and get it off the trailer here. And then I will tell you more about it. There we go. Got it off my trailer and you guys seen it run. It sounds pretty good. Um, so, as you guys seen in the title as well, you seen what I paid for it and you're probably thinking, dang, that's cheap. Um, but this tractor does have some issues. And if you guys remember my 220 Alice, um, I got it, I bought it with issues as well out of Iowa. And the issues with it was that they said that they rolled the umbrella, umbrella seal which is a seal that goes around the shaft that goes into the injection pump to drive the injection pump and got diesel in the crankcase, which wasn't the cause on mine, but somehow diesel still got in the crankcase and um, they ran it too long and it ended up uh, rolling a bearing in the bottom end, one of the main bearings, which is pretty much just a sleeve that the rod rides on um, or the rod clamps to, to pull your pistons up and down if you guys yeah um but this one is having the same issue um is getting fuel in the crankcase but it is not severe yet it does not have any knocks whatsoever um so i'm not gonna run it at all really um i'm just gonna probably drive it over to the garage um, and tear it down and fix it because right now it's a uh, five dollar little seal and if i keep on running it it'll be a ten thousand dollar motor rebuild um so instead of tearing it up i'm gonna do it the right way fix it up and get it running a one hundred percent um so that's the issue with this tractor and looking it over it does have a lot of leaks as well but it's 50 years old can't expect it to be perfect so um, there's a lot of leaks that do need to be addressed though um number one being the valve cover gasket it's leaking like a sieve on both sides. Um, so that's definitely gonna need addressed um, because it is leaking like crazy. The rims aren't in too good a shape as you guys can see. Um, they've been patched, they're fluid filled, so that's why, so I'll probably have to get some new rims. Um, and it is a repaint, but I mean, it don't look too terrible. Um, it looks about like my other one that I had. Um, so it does have three point and PTO and all that good stuff thinking all the leaks back here are just out of the outlets dripping down and then collecting dust but 
yeah and this rim ain't any better um and then yeah on this side of the motor here the valve cover's leaking pretty good so that's a 20 40 dollar part i i can't remember what they're running um so i'll get that part coming get them umbrella sleeves coming and then it looks like the wheel hub's leaking pretty good too so um get all that fixed up too and it did come with a set of front weights but these are definitely not the right weights um, i have the right weights that go on here so i might be selling these um, because i have no use for them nor do i want them um i'm gonna put the what the style weights like that are on my 200 on this thing um, and go that route instead of leaving these weights on it which are 180 185s and will work on the 200s as well but yeah here it is looks pretty good sounds pretty good um and overall is a sweet tractor uh it is missing the rear panels here but if that's all it's missing i don't really care um because i could find them or get them made so and um, that really ain't no big deal but um he said it had a new turbo on it which is something's I'm going to say the turbo's got some issues because there's oil coming out of there and oil coming out of right there. So, I'm going to say oil, turbo's got some issues and needs to be taken back off and replaced or gone through. Um, it does have a new clutch, throw out bearing, um, input shaft seal and rear main seal on it. Um, but it also looks like maybe the front main seal is leaking or it's just the valve cover dripping down. Not 100% sure. Don't want to run it long enough until I get this issue fixed. So, um, yeah, that's that. I'm going to leave the cab on it for now until I run across a set of fenders. And then I'll yank the cab off and go that route. Unless someone comes along and offers me way too much money for this thing like my last one. Then I'll just let it go and I'll find another one one of these days. But for now, I'm going to hang on to it, try to get all the issues fixed and go that route. And try to have a little fun with it because I get a six bottom um on land alice plow out there that i'd love to pull behind the 220 for a youtube video for you guys so hopefully i can get this all fixed up and uh go to some plow days or something but yeah on the inside of the cab here as well it's pretty nice the doors latch pretty good um and it's all straight um and yeah it's just a pretty nice overall tractor they take pretty good care of it um and it obviously doesn't have too many hours on it by the wear of the clutch pedal. He said it didn't pop out of gear, which I believe the guy. Um, high low worked. Everything checks out as it should. Um, it does have an aftermarket tachometer in it. So I'd probably say it has, I don't know, 4,500, 5,000 hours on it. Maybe. I don't know. By the clutch pedal wear. And draw bar has a little bit of wear, but I don't know. I'd say it ain't been you. I'd say it ain't been abused, and that's all that matters. And yeah, it just looks comfy in there, even though it will be for the winter. But come summertime, it's gonna be brutally hot. So um, yeah, this is my new purchase. I have a bigger purchase coming very very soon. So make sure to stay tuned to the channel. You guys want to see that? Um, this thing I wasn't even gonna buy. Um, why well, i didn't even have it in mind to buy but i was the first person to text the guy on it so i figured out what i paid for it i might as well go and grab it i can make my money easily make a couple grand on it the way it sits so um i figure i might as well put the investment in it and go that route and then uh, make a little bit more money here a couple next couple of days and go after the big purchase so um, yeah, this tire does need replaced too. It's showing down to the cords. Um, so, need some new tires. But, just overall, 50-year-old wear. Stuff that it needs, I mean, ain't gonna cost an arm and a leg. But, um, will take some time to get all 100%. So, um, yeah, this is my new 220. Hopefully you guys um, want to see more videos on it. Because I'm gonna try to crank out content on it. Um, even though I said that about the last one and I sold it, but I had to take the chance while I had it and um, let it go. So hopefully this one stays around longer and I can get some field work um, going with it. 
and just get some videos pumped out before it sells. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button for me. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. And yeah, I guess if you want to see more videos on this thing, make sure to put that down in the comments below. And um, I guess I'll catch you all next one. Thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.